Hello everyone, my name is Ming. Welcome to another video. Right now I am in Chautauqua Park in Boulder, Colorado. Today is May 17th and right now it's about the season when flowers bloom in Chautauqua Park. And as you can see right there, I'm, I'm here shooting these flowers during sunrise. And I came, I came to Chautauqua Park yesterday afternoon to do some location scouting and i found this spot i think this spot is pretty good because the flowers are really really close to the trail so i can set up my tripod and my camera uh, right next to the trail so i don't need to you know get into the area uh, I, I you know make sure you don't step on flowers um, you know you want to capture the beauty of nature but you don't want to destroy the nature so yeah uh, this morning the condition is pretty good uh, the weather is pretty nice, it's not cold, it's pretty warm actually. And uh, I set up my Fuji X-T2 right here and I tried to get uh, very close to the flowers in the foreground and I used a uh, vertical composition. I firstly tried a horizontal, uh, a landscape mode, a landscape composition, but I don't think it works very well because I have a lot of dead tricks. Um, on the sides so by going to the vertical composition i can remove the tricks from my frame so i can only have flowers in the foreground and the rock formation in the background so i think that works pretty good and then um, since the flowers are really really close to my camera i had to do focus stacking and i focused on the flowers in the foreground and then i changed the shooting mode on my fuji xt2 to bracketing and then I go to the bracketing mode, I change it to focus bracketing and then I set it to 9 frames, step 3 and interval 1 second and then I just fire the, the shots and, and the Fuji X-T2 automatically captures the, the uh, multiple exposures from focusing from the foreground and moving towards the background. So yeah, in the post I will combine those uh, a different exposures together so hopefully I can get something that's uh, sharp from the foreground all the way to the background. The challenge I was facing this morning was this morning it was a little bit windy and I had to bump up ISO to get a faster shutter speed in order to have uh, my flowers in the foreground sharp and um, before sunrise and during the sunrise, I had to use ISO around ISO 800. That gave me a shutter speed of like one one eightieth of a second. And after sunrise, I can lower my ISO to about ISO 200, which is the lowest native ISO on Fuji XT2, and I still be able to capture the flowers with a shutter speed of one eightieth of a second. And yeah, I think I'm gonna do a little bit time blending, which means I'm gonna use the flowers I captured after sunrise. So, you know, I captured it with a lower ISO and a faster shutter speed and I combined that with the rock that I captured during the sunrise and um, to produce the best image quality possible. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the photo and I just want to talk a little bit about the post-processing that goes into this photo. Like I mentioned on location, I did focus bracketing for this photo and um, I picked three photos out of nine exposures I captured. The first photo I found the foreground flowers is nice and sharp and then the second photo middle ground is nice and sharp and then the third photo the rocks in the background is nice and sharp and then I brought three photos into Photoshop and I used layer masks 
to manually blend three photos together so I can have a photo that is sharp from the foreground all the way towards the background. And then I use the uh, the stamp clone tool to remove some distracting objects in the foreground and then I filled in some empty space with flowers from some other areas. And then I brought the photo back to Capture One and then I used the Layers tool to adjust the black point, midpoint, and the white point. And then I increased the contrast a little bit. I increased uh, saturation just a little bit. I pulled down the highlight and I increased the shadow just a little bit. And then I go to the color editing tool in Capture One. I really, really like the color editing tools in Capture One. So I can just target the green color in the foreground and then I made it a little bit darker, a little bit more saturated. And then I add a new layer for the rocks in the background. And then I can use the color editor tool again to target a specific color and then make it a little bit brighter and, then, and a little bit more saturated. And then I target the blue in the sky and I pull the brightness down further Further, and then um, overall I think that makes the photo a, a little bit more balanced. And then I apply the sharpening in Capture One. And then I go to the uh, structure slider. I increase the structure a little bit. I think that brings out more details. The last thing I did is I brought the photo to Photoshop and I add a little bit Orton effect to the foreground, the grass and the flowers. Um, overall makes it a little bit more dreamy effect. And then I added a little bit of vignetting to the photo. That's pretty much it. That's pretty much all I did for this photo. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this photo and I hope you enjoyed this video as well. If you are interested in Capture One, check out discounts and the downloads in the description below. And there are discounts for other softwares as well. If you are the first time on my channel, please consider subscribing or following. All right, guys, I hope you enjoy photography. See you next time. Bye.